Hello, I'm Ken Whelan from Light Reading, and I'm speaking today with Laszlo from Nokia. Hello, Laszlo. Hello, Ken. I'll just start off with a broad question. Why are telecommunications standards so important to CSPs? Well, actually, there are a number of reasons why standards are so important for them. First of all, if we talk about Wi-Fi, it's very important to have a certified product available to their customers. I mean, if you now look at the, the new generations of Wi-Fi moving from Wi-Fi 6 to 6E and then 7, if you look at the retail market, there already you may buy some client devices for Wi-Fi 7, but it may be that if you buy a different device tomorrow or next week, it's not compatible with this first device. So service providers can't afford that risk. They really have to work with standardized Wi-Fi products. Second, if you look at a mesh network to enable a broadband coverage throughout the whole home, again there, there are a number of proprietary possibilities, but again for a service provider it's much more important to have a standardized mesh networking technology. Third, for a service provider it's also important to be able to manage the devices, the broadband devices, on behalf of the end users. And again there it's important to have that standard implementation to interop with a number of different vendors. Finally, once you've established this perfect standardized connectivity, the next step would be to bring applications on the broadband devices. Think of cybersecurity, think of uh, gaming optimization and the like. And also there is very important to have a standardized approach to ensure that you can address a whole ecosystem of software developers. Uh, thank you for that. Um, but how does Nokia's new beacon fit into that sort of industry standardization picture that you just painted? Indeed. Yeah. Uh, great question. So our beacon then, the new beacon that we have just introduced, first of all, it is a Wi-Fi 6E product. And at Nokia, we ensure that every Wi-Fi product that we bring to the market has been certified by the Wi-Fi Alliance. Second, for the mesh networking, we again leverage on Wi-Fi Alliance's Easy Mesh to ensure that certification and then hence also interoperability. Third, for the management, we are now leveraging TR369, also known as the User Services Platform, USP, to again ensure that cloud platforms can manage our devices. We have a cloud platform that provides a TR369 interoperability. It can manage our device, but also other vendors' Wi-Fi devices, if they also support TR369. Finally, for the applications, so there we leverage Linux containers, which is again an industry standard, to bring those cybersecurity and other applications onto the broadband devices. OK, and let's talk about in more in detail about Nokia's new Beacon 10, which I believe is yes, right indeed. here. Yes, indeed. We have Side it is. right yeah. here. So this yeah. is the Beacon 10, which you are just about to announce today. Now, this is a Wi-Fi 6E product, first of all. Second, it has a massive capacity on Wi-Fi. So because it's Wi-Fi 6E, it leverages the 2.4, the 5 and the 6 gigahertz bands. It has a 2 plus 4 plus 4 MIMO arrangement. It also supports a 160 megahertz channel width on Wi-Fi, giving it a whopping 10 gigabits per second of Wi-Fi capacity. Second, this also complies with Easy Mesh. For the management, we use that TR369 that I mentioned before. And we also have a number of partners that we work with to introduce these new applications. Notably, we are working with F-Secure to bring a fully integrated cybersecurity application on this device, meaning that it's not only interoperable with the device itself, but we also provide the licensing towards the service provider, so they don't have to have separate commercial agreements with F-Secure. And we also make sure that the mobile app that we use for Nokia Wi-Fi is also extended with the F-Secure capabilities for the cybersecurity. Thanks very much, uh, Laszlo, for sharing that information on Nokia Wi-Fi innovation. It's very interesting. Thank you very much. And thank you very much.